Recently, NASA scientists announced that mysterious sound in space is baffling them. They said the strange whistling sounds were detected in the Van Allen probe's mission. For those unaware, the Van Allen probes are a pair of donut-shaped robotic spacecrafts which can be found currently orbiting the Earth. NASA uploaded the sounds to their website, but it's their description of the sounds that puzzled many people. They say the sounds can be attributed to different electromagnetic waves, which penetrate almost every single known area of space. A spokesperson for NASA said the following, Although space is technically a vacuum, it's still full of electrically charged particles, which come into constant interaction with the magnetic and electric fields of the various objects throughout space. What the researchers have now found out is certain particles behave differently depending on what kind of magnetic and electric fields they're interacting with. This is why different planets give off their own noises. Going back a few years, NASA released the sounds of Saturn, and many people said these noises were eerie. These intense radio emissions were picked up by the Cassini spacecraft. The scientists are studying these recordings, and they hope it will give them a better understanding of plasma waves in space. This isn't the only space news. Recently, researchers told us that two large space objects have been picked up by NASA heading towards Earth. However, NASA currently doesn't know what one of them is. The American Space Agency has identified one of the objects as a comet, but is yet to identify the other. Comet C 2016 was discovered by NASA in October 2016, and shortly after its discovery, it was seen flying past Earth. The object named 2016 WF9 was detected by NASA's asteroid and comet hunting project on the 27th of November 2016. It's roughly 0.3 to 0.6 miles across or 0.5 to 1 kilometers, and is on an orbit that takes it on a scenic tour of our solar system. However, engineers at NASA have said they can't identify what it is, with one NASA engineer saying the following. As of right now, we do not know what this object is, it could have comet origins. The object illustrates the boundaries between asteroids and comets as a blurry one. Perhaps over time it's lost certain features that would allow us to identify it. This object is classified as a near-Earth object, and a potentially hazardous asteroid of the Apollo group. Jupiter is the largest planet that can be found in our solar system. It has a diameter of around 90,000 miles or 143,000 kilometers. This is over 11 times the diameter of Earth, and has a volume of over 1,300 times that of Earth's. In fact, Jupiter is so large that every other planet in our solar system could fit inside it. Jupiter is a gas giant and this means the majority of its atmosphere is made up of mostly hydrogen gas and helium gas. The planet is covered in thick clouds and is known for its great red spot. This giant spot is actually a storm that's been spinning for over 350 years. Recent studies however have shown the storm is decreasing in size, and some scientists have said that it could disappear within the next 50 years. It's also known for being a windy planet, having wind speeds reach up to 400 miles per hour. Although Jupiter is perhaps best known for this red spot, is also known for its colourful storms. Jupiter produces some of the most impressive auroras our solar system has to offer. Going back a few years ago, NASA captured one of Jupiter's most impressive auroras. They are much bigger than Earth's and also produce thousands of times more energy. Another interesting thing about this is Jupiter creates its own auroras. Earth doesn't create its own. Instead, Earth's auroras are created by solar storms. One of the reasons that Jupiter can do this is because of its strong magnetic field. This allows it to grab charged particles from its surroundings. These auroras were first picked up on when the Voyager 1 spacecraft passed by Jupiter in the 1970s. 
you would think that this would be a rare occurrence. But astronomers said during a 2007 press release that they were so frequent that every time they looked at Jupiter through a telescope they could see the auroras. Currently we have the technology to search for other exoplanets, and that makes it a lot easier to find other possible Earth-like planets. However, this is easier said than done. There are hundreds of billions of planets in the universe, and trying to find a planet that is Earth-like is no easy task. Currently we can only search for suns of life that are in the Milky Way galaxy. According to the research that has been published in 2015, scientists said there were many larger galaxies that might be producing a greater amount of Earth-like planets. At the moment though, the next candidate for colonization will most likely be Mars. Although this planet is close by in terms of the universe, it's still a big leap forward for humans. Our sun lies at the heart of the solar system, and it's no secret that it's massive. Scientists have figured out the sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the sun. The outside of the sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA have said that to match the energy the sun produces, you'd have to set off 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. Researchers have come forward and said that when our sun was born 4.5 billion years ago, it had a twin. However, this twin sun was not identical. The Harvard scientists have said this was the same with every other star in our universe. It has in fact been proved that many stars do have companions. Astronomers are now focused on trying to understand whether binary and triplet star systems are born that way. Astronomers have been searching for the Sun's twin. This star goes by the name Nemesis. It's been suggested that Nemesis is the reason behind the KT extinction. This has become known as one of the largest mass extinction events to happen on our planet. It's also become known as the Dive of the Dinosaurs. It's been theorized that Nemesis pushed an asteroid into the orbit of Earth. An astronomer from UC Berkeley said the following. There probably was a nemesis a long time ago. We have searched and tried to find out where this star resides. The system where this star would be is either broke apart or shrank. This other sun, however, would not have been near the current one. It's thought that at one point in time it would have been 800 million miles away from Earth. An idea is that this sun most likely escaped and then mixed with other stars in the Milky Way's region. As mentioned, this isn't science fiction either. Other researchers have come forward and said this is not the first time that the idea that stars form a companion has been suggested. A research paper is going to be featured in the Royal Astronomical Society. This will look at the origins of binary and multiple star systems. However, although this theory does have its supporters, there are those that don't believe in the nemesis theory. Some researchers have come forward and said that after studying craters, it doesn't back up the nemesis claim. Regardless, studies are still happening to try and prove the existence of this hypothetical star. Asteroids are small rocky objects that orbit the sun. There are thousands of them in our solar system. The majority of them can be found in the main asteroid belt which is located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. According to NASA, there are more than 25,000 asteroids near us of 140 meters in size at a minimum. Additionally, there are plenty of other near-Earth objects that could be a threat to our planet, some of which are miles in diameter. However, for these asteroids to make contact, they have to be on a perfect collision course. The asteroid known as 1997 XF11 has been classified as a near-Earth object. It's recently been gaining attention as astronomers have called it a potentially hazardous asteroid of the Apollo group. This asteroid was discovered on the 6th of December 1997. It's recently been in the news and some people have expressed their concerns. Astronomers have predicted the asteroid will come extremely close to the Earth on the 28th of October 2028. People have questioned what would happen if this asteroid did make contact with the Earth. Scientists have said the asteroid is between 0.5 and 1 mile wide. Although this is nowhere near the size of the asteroid that struck the planet 66 million years ago, it could still potentially do quite a bit of damage. During this asteroid's close approach to the Earth, 
it's been reported that you will be able to see it with binoculars. Recently, several news outlets have stated the rocky formation will definitely hit the Earth, but astronomers are confident their collision won't happen. Scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said the following. The asteroid is predicted to pass at a rather comfortable distance of around 600,000 miles, or 960,000 kilometers in 2028. Our computers predict these distances for a vast amount of comets, asteroids, planets and other bodies in the solar system. There is another asteroid labelled 4 Vesta that's so giant and bright that it can be seen in the night sky as if it was hovering nearby. Even though it's so far away, it's also caused people to ask many questions. According to astronomers at NASA, this 4 Vesta is projected to be incredibly more significant than the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. In fact, it's believed to be 50 times bigger, and if it did happen to collide with Earth, it could wipe out over 90% of living organisms. For now, it's not on a collision course but it's something that scientists will be keeping an eye on. Scientists believe that our moon was formed around 4.6 billion years ago. It's incredible to think that humans have walked here, and have even managed to bring back some of the lunar surface. However, one of these moon rocks that was brought back to Earth has been raising some questions. The primary objectives of Apollo 14 were to explore certain regions of the lunar surface, and to collect surface material samples for return to Earth. It's known that during this mission difficulties were experienced in docking with the lunar module, and it took around six attempts before a dock was achieved. During their mission, the astronauts collected over 90 pounds of rocks and soil for return to Earth. After some research though, it's thought that some of these samples may have originated from Earth all along. Jeremy Belushi from the Swedish Museum of Natural History said the following, our researchers came to this conclusion in the course of a study analysing the chemical composition of the lunar samples. These were collected by the Apollo 14 crew. This study was carried out in 2014, and the scientists discovered the moon rock contained approximately 2 grams of quartz, feldspar and zircon. Interestingly, these materials are very common on Earth, but are very rare on the moon which indicated the rock had once been exposed to the Earth's surface. Once other tests had been carried out, it showed some interesting results. The fragment had crystallised at temperatures which would be expected in the near subspace of the early days of this planet. It's thought this particular piece of rock was removed from the Earth by a heavy meteor impact. After a short journey in space, it was able to make contact with the Moon. It's thought that during this time, the Moon would have been around three times closer to the Earth than it is today. Incredibly, this rock has been through a lot. It's been suggested that when it hit the lunar surface, it was buried deep inside the moon. Millions of years later, it found its way to the surface due to another impact. The fact that after all of that, it managed to find its way into our hands is incredible. Scientists have now said that because of this discovery, it means they can now look at how the Earth and moon would have interacted with each other. Researchers from the Space Research Association said the following. It's an extraordinary find that helps paint a better picture of early Earth and the bombardment that modified our planet during the dawn of life. So what do you guys make of this discovery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.